Hi everyone, my name is Van Richards and I'm a math and music teacher at WRM Studio. Today I want to take a look at laws of indices, uh, what it means and uh, why and how can we use them. Now it's very important these laws of indices as it forms uh, the basis of most to many mathematical calculations that we are going to do and uh, especially when we get to higher grade mathematics and students tend to forget um, how to do these uh, as they go along, uh, making many, many uh, calculation mistakes cost them marks in exams and tests. All right, let's have a look at laws of indices. First thing, uh, this is more tailored towards grade eight and nine mathematics, although the previous grades do start with basic indices as well, but um, these are more geared towards these grades. Right, first, before we go into uh, seeing the laws, what is the meaning of an indices? Singular form, it's called an index, and plural form is indices. Right, now, the power or index, uh, another name for an index is a power, is to write a product of numbers, a product meaning a multitude, a multiplication of numbers very compactly. How do we do that? Well, if we have a look at the expression 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, it can be written as 5 to the power or index of 4, meaning that we have 4 fives multiplied by each other. And it is read, literally read as 5 to the power of 4. Or if we use variables, if we use make use of a variable, a variable is a letter that we use. It is an unknown number or an unknown amount of numbers that we can use. So we use um, uh, a, a letter to uh, show that. Y times Y times Y can be written as Y to the power of three, meaning that Y is multiplied three times by itself. And it is literally read again as y to the power of three. Or in this case, because we know from previous graves that if we have a three as a power or index, it is called cubed. So we can also easily say y cubed. Now it is very important, very, very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. Important. Laws should be followed strictly according to the rules. Don't be creative with your laws. It is very important. You will uh, be doing um, uh, wrong calculations if you don't follow it. So know it, learn it, know it off by heart how to work with them. All right. Let's have a look at the first law. Law number one states that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it will equal a to the power of m plus n, meaning that we are going to add those two numbers together, like so. Right, how are we going to do that? First of all, the most important rule to remember here is that the basis, the basis, what is a base? These are bases. The bases need to be the same. If they are not the same, we cannot use the law. And if they are multiplied with each other, then we add the two indices together. That one and that one we are going to add together there. All right, so that is very, very important to remember. Let's have a look at an example or two. If we have 6 to the power of 4 times 6 to the power of 7, first of all, let's check the bases are the same. So we can use law 1 and add the two indices together. We will get 6 to the power of 4 plus 7 which will be 6 to the power of 11. And working that out, we will get to a very, very, very big number, 362,797,056. If we use variables, it is even more easier 
we check that the bases again are the same yes they are so we are going to add the indices together so x to the power of 8 times x to the power of 6 will equal x to the power of 8 plus 6 equals x to the power of 14. Let's have a look at law number 2. Law number 2 states if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it will equal a to the power of m minus m meaning that we will subtract the two indices if we divide not multiply right so this law states then when expressions with the same base the same base again are divided we subtract the indices from each other the indices are then subtracted from each other let's have a look at an example 12 to the power of 9 divided by 12 to the power of 6 will equal 12 to the power of 9 minus 6 because the bases are the same that will equal 12 to the power of 3 which will then equal to 1728 the same if we use variables y to the power of 7 divided by y to the power of 2 will equal y to the power of 7 minus 2 and that will be y to the power of 5. Law number 3 states that a to the power of m times n so the whole variable and index multiplied by another index will mean that we are going to multiply the two indexes together if they are on the same base right an index multiplied with another index on the same base on the same base will yield a new index on that base which will be the product of the two indexes multiplied by each other let's have a look at an example 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 6 will yield 2 to the power of 4 times 6 and that will equal 2 to the power of 24 which will then again give us a very big number 16,777,216 the same if we use variables c to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 will yield c to the power of 3 times 2 and that answer is c to the power of 6. These are the three main indices laws that we get but we need to take note of the following as well and especially in grade 8 or 9 and these important rules revolve around indices of 0 and 1. If we have a a number or a variable multiplied by zero the whole answer will become one so a to the power of zero will equal one six to the power of zero will equal one but if we have a to the power of one it means that a is it's one a one a and that will equal a again and this one is very important this is a new one that you might come across especially in grade 9 is a negative index or negative indices what does a to the power of negative 1 yield right if we have a negative 1 this is going to become a fraction so immediately we're going to have a fraction line and this will happen the a to the power of negative 1 will become a to the power of 1 below the fraction line and it's going to be on one for example 6 to the power of negative 3 will become 1 over 6 to the power of 3 while z to the power of negative 6 will equal 1 over z to the power of 6 let's try this one simplify the following expression a to the power of 6 times b to the power of 5 
oh, we have a problem here. The bases are not the same. So we cannot use any of the laws because the law states that the bases need to be the same. So in this case, we cannot say A, B, and then 6 plus 5. That's not going to work. Or A, 6 plus B to the power 5. I don't know how we're going to do this one. No, we cannot use the laws. What we here do is it's literally A to the power of 6 times B to the power of 5. And this will yield A to the power of 6, B to the power of 5. Why? Again, because the bases are not the same. They need to be the same. All right, this is the uh, end of this tutorial on indices. There will be some more tutorials coming out soon regarding making use of them in uh, more complex expressions or equations. So have a look at, out for that. If you like the video, please like my YouTube channel. Please go and uh, subscribe. And I hope these videos will be helpful in the future. Bye for now.